If you're working with images that have strong angles like this and you want to modify the images on the angle, so for instance if we wanted to add or subtract a window, the best tool to use is something called Vanishing Point. You'll select the layer that you want to modify, go to the Filter menu, choose Vanishing Point, and the Vanishing Point dialog pops open. The first thing that you'll need to do is create a perspectival plane so that you can tell Photoshop where you want to make the modifications and what that 3D plane would be. What you'll do is you'll click on the four corners of the plane to create that shape. And once you have the first plane, you can use the second tool here to click and drag a second plane off of the first. And you can make as many of these as you like. To select any individual plane, just click on it and it will change the area of focus. Once the area is selected, you can then do modifications such as work with the clone stamp tool, copy and paste, making selections with the marquee, use the brush tool, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to add two windows right above the first. So let's use the marquee tool and I'll select the first window and notice that when I'm making my selection, you can see that the rectangular marquee shape is being skewed to match the plane it's on top of. Now with my selection, I can drag a copy off by holding down my Alt or Option key. And if I hold down my Shift key too, I can actually drag a copy of that window straight above and release. So let's do that again. You make a marquee selection around the shape that you want to modify. Hold down Alt or Option. And if you want to constrain the move, just hold down the Shift key again and release when you're done. You can deselect with the Command or Control D to deselect. Now you can do the same thing with removing objects. You'll have to go to the Heal menu, turn it on, and then what I would do is I would Shift drag this over and then copy and paste that selection onto the window area. So holding down my Alt or Option key and my Shift key and just dragging on top of the other window to replace and then delete. You can also work with the clone stamp where you would sample an area by holding down your Alt or Option key and then you could paint with that area. So if I wanted to add a window or two windows right above, I just sample and then paint. Another thing you can do is you can bring objects into the plane and I happen to have a image already open so I'm clicking OK to close Vanishing Point and those planes and those modifications are now saved as part of this image. I'm going to go over to my seagull and I'd already created a channel so I can click right on the thumbnail to select it and then go back to my layers panel, edit copy, go back to my vanishing point and re-enter by selecting filter vanishing point and then I can just paste command or control V and when I drag that image into that plane you can see that the bird is at the same angle as the wall. I could also Command or Control T to transform the shape. So I'm going to move it up there, scale it down, and then drag it back over. And when you have it the way you like it, you might have to do this a couple times because I don't want that bird to be huge. I just want it to be proportional to the uh, window there. Put his eyes in a place that looks right. Holding down my shift key to constrain. And then when I have it the way I like it, just click OK. And that bird becomes part of the image, but it looks like it really is flying in front of the window.